Well, hello guys, Let's Show TV here. Today, we will be taking a look at a set from Marvel Studios, The Infinity Saga. This is a set from Avengers Endgame. This is set 76237H7 plus 322 pieces Sanctuary 2 in game battle. Comes with Captain Marvel, Iron Man, plus Thanos in minifigure form. Now it's time to take a look at it once it's built. Here's a good look at the front of the box. Here's a good look at the back of the box with the features of the set. Here's everything we get in the Sanctuary 2 in-game battle. We're going to start off with taking a look at the set itself right now let's get to it here's a good look at the sanctuary 2 from the front here's what it looks like from this side here's what it looks like from the back here's what it looks like on this side we have some stickers on the front as well as some lasers on the side we have six stud shooters three on the left and three on the right you guys should know how to shoot them by now so we do have a place to put Thanos. I like the design with the front, you know, with the red bits right there in the middle. All you have to do is lift up this. It's pretty cool, right? They could have put a printed piece for that control panel. They just didn't want to. So this is where the blade goes. Interesting. So you can open up the back. You guys remember that post credit scene at the end of Age of Ultron? Apparently, this is supposed to represent that post credit scene where Thanos grabs the glove. Now on to the minifigures and then the ratings. Minifigures included are Iron Man, Thanos, plus Captain Marvel. Here's what they look like with their power blast, plus Thanos' giant blade sword here's iron man as you can see he is the same one from the avengers infinity war and avengers in-game sets of the past you can see very nice torso and lead detailing same face as before gilgamesh from the eternals also uses his hairpiece here's what he looks like from the back here is thanos as you can see he has a brand new face print brand new torso detailing plus brand new leg detailing here's a good view of his back torso detailing here is carol danvers aka captain marvel she has a brand new Torso detailing, no leg detailing. I believe that face is new. I haven't seen it on her before. So here's what she looks like from the front. She has an alternate face plus some very nice back torso detailing. On to the ratings for the set. I am going to give this set a 9. Why am I going to give this set a 9? It has to do with the infinity gauntlet so the piece they chose for the infinity gauntlet is pretty good it's a fist piece which the gauntlet looks like a fist so yeah it's supposed to be a hand that can use the infinity stones the problem is it's not accurate while it was used in Chima and Ninjago, it's still not accurate for the Marvel Cinematic Universe wave of sets here. So, what I'm thinking is, it's just completely inaccurate. And they didn't try to fix that. I'm hoping if we get a another version of Thanos in minifigure form that it is way more accurate the next time because I know that they're capable of making a Stark gauntlet and a regular Infinity gauntlet. They did it for Hulk to have a Stark gauntlet and they did it for Big Thanos so I know that they can make one for minifigure Thanos. Now, 
let's talk about the actual Sanctuary 2. If you look in the movies where we see the Sanctuary 2, particularly Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War, then the Avengers Endgame, if you look at all of those movies, Thor Ragnarok and Infinity War tried to make the Sanctuary 2 bigger than it already is, than it actually is. It's not super ginormous. That is a perspective thing that they try to do in the movie. When you get to in-game and it's actually going through the time portal from 2014 to the current day, it looks like this. So, the size is not a issue here. It's particularly the Infinity Gauntlet. That is why I am giving this set a 9. If you have enjoyed this video, alright guys, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my videos in the future, you can do three things. What are those three things that you can do to ensure that YouTube promotes my videos? Well, you can subscribe. What does that do? It lets YouTube know that they should be promoting my channel. What does commenting do? It lets me know that you've seen the video. What does liking do? It promotes the video in the YouTube algorithm even more. So, if I have helped you want to buy this set, then please do all of those things. I am always grateful for those people who comment, like, and then subscribe because that really helps promote the channel. Also, it inspires me to make more content for you guys. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. That would be awesome if in 2022 we got to 5,000 subscribers. So, you want to see me get to that goal and even more then once again you can comment which makes me know that you lets me know that you have seen the video because it will automatically tell me that you have commented then liking promotes it to the algorithm as well as subscribing to the channel so, do all those things and you will see my videos, hopefully, in your notifications whenever I do upload. I'm working on a lot of things to finish 2021, so bear with me. I will see you next time. Goodbye.